Top 20 Hardware Engineer Interview Questions and Answers As you prepare for your next interview, you may be wondering which questions your interviewer might ask. There are several common questions you should expect in a hardware engineer interview. In this article, we share the top interview questions along with answers that interviewers will be looking for. 1. What roles do a hardware engineer perform? This question tests whether you are familiar with the roles performed by hardware engineers. Tip number one, think fast about several roles done by a hardware engineer. Tip number two, prove you're knowledgeable about your roles. Sample answer. A hardware engineer performs various roles depending on the company. These include researching, developing, and testing computer systems. Hardware engineers also develop processors, routers, networks, a memory device, circuit boards, and other computer-related components. It is also within their roles to discover new trends in computer hardware. 2. Describe ways in which scalability can be addressed. This question tests your knowledge concerning how systems can be scaled to handle more work. Tip number 1. State two or three ways in which hardware engineers can address scalability. Tip number two, demonstrate that you are skilled in this area. Sample answer. A hardware engineer can achieve scalability by upgrading a system. This could mean increasing the processing power of a system so that I can work faster and hence process more work. Another way to scale a system is to improve architectural designs. This will ensure an enhanced method of deploying codes on hardware. Regarding computer systems, scalability can also be achieved by increasing the memory capacity. 3. Describe what is meant by fault tolerance. Here, the interviewer wants to test your familiarity with fault tolerance. Tip number 1, define fault tolerance. Tip number 2, give a clear and complete answer to prove your familiarity. Sample answer. Fault tolerance refers to the property that enables a system to function continuously even when one or more components malfunction. Nonetheless, it is important to identify where the failure has occurred promptly to correct it and restore full functionality. 4. What is architectural risk and how can you mitigate it? This question is meant to assess whether you are familiar with architectural risks. Tip number 1. Define an architectural risk. Tip number two, state how you can mitigate it. Sample answer. An architectural risk is a possibility that architectural design might fail to satisfy the requirements of a project. Failure may include substandard quality designs and inefficiencies unapproved by the sponsor. I would mitigate architectural risks by making sure to capture requirements correctly to avoid design flaws and the following standard and accepted software design procedures. 5. Do you get excited to learn about new technologies? The interviewer asks this question to know whether you can learn new technologies besides working. Tip number 1, describe the way you learn about new technologies. Tip number 2, Show that you can learn new concepts as you work. Sample answer. Yes. Since technology keeps on changing, I always make effort to learn more about any new things and developments in the field. I also seek to know how other technological advancements may affect the way things are done in my profession. Learning about new technologies gives me more knowledge about how I can improve current processes or designs. 6. As a hardware engineer, which area of this job do you find most challenging? The interviewer wants to hear whether you anticipate any challenge in your job and how you intend to deal with it. Tip number one, state a challenge you expect to face. Tip number two, show how you will deal with it. Sample answer. I find it quite challenging to develop complex computer systems within very strict deadlines. This is mainly because they may exhibit certain behaviors that need more time to troubleshoot. But I will ensure to work with other experts to ensure problems are identified early and appropriate solutions are implemented to deliver timely products. 7. 
What is ASCII? This question is aimed at assessing whether you are familiar with ASCII. Tip number one, state the meaning of ASCII. Tip number two, mention its purpose to demonstrate your understanding. Sample answer. ASCII is an acronym for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It is a format for text files that are widely used in computers. The purpose of ASCII is to make sure that different devices can connect and communicate with each other. Besides, it translates the binary language to make it readable to humans. 8. Have you ever led a team before? Here, the interviewer wants to know whether you can be trusted to lead a team. Tip number 1. Think about a team you led and share your success. Tip number 2. Prove that you are capable of leading a team. Sample answer. During my previous role, I led a hardware design team to research ways to enhance the performance of a system we were developing. I guided my team in a systematic manner that enabled us to quickly find an appropriate solution. In the end, the performance of the system even exceeded the client's expectations. 9. What makes you the best candidate for this job? This question is meant to assess whether you would be an asset or a liability to the company. Tip number 1, mention what makes you stand out from other candidates. Tip number 2, be honest and don't mull over the answer. Sample answer. I am very passionate about designing computer hardware. I trained in one of the best institutes in the country. Moreover, I have over 7 years of experience as a hardware engineer. Thus, I will execute this role effectively and to the satisfaction of the company. 10. How would you explain a technical issue to people who aren't tech savvy? This question tests your ability to explain complex or technical concepts or issues to non-technical persons. Tip number 1. Explain the approach you would use to make them understand. Tip number 2. Prove your ability to break down technical concepts to make them simple. Sample answer. I have found using a cheat sheet to be very effective in explaining and making people understand technical issues. Using it will help to explain technical terms in a more simplified manner. I would use analogies and illustrate concepts to enhance understanding. 11. How do you prioritize your work? Here, the interviewer seeks to test your ability to prioritize work. Tip number 1. Mention how you order your work. Tip number 2. Prove your ability to prioritize tasks based on their order of priority. Sample answer. First, I develop a list of all projects or tasks that need to be worked on. Then, I determine their deadlines, dependence, and urgency. With this in mind, I identify those that need to be completed first. These are followed by those that are less urgent. The list ends with projects that depend on others or are not urgent. If some projects or tasks need to be completed at the same time, I leverage my multitasking abilities to deliver them on time. 12. How do you stay current in the hardware engineering industry? This is one of the common questions asked during the hardware engineer interview. The employer wants an employee who stays current and can integrate new developments in their work. Tip number 1, mention ways you learn about new developments in the industry. Tip number 2, prove that you can implement changes as they happen in the industry. Sample answer. I am a member of the Engineers Association. Through it, I receive updates about what other engineers are doing across the world. Besides, I attend engineering workshops organized in the country from time to time. I have also subscribed to two industry newsletters that publish news and trends about the industry. 13. If you have a slow running computer system, how would you troubleshoot the problem? This question requires that you demonstrate an effective strategy for troubleshooting hardware issues. Tip number 1. State how you would troubleshoot the problem. Tip number 2. Prove your troubleshooting skills. Sample answer. First, 
I would find out how the system should perform versus how it is functioning to understand the variation and extent of the problem. With that in mind, I would evaluate its subsystems to identify one that is causing the problem. Once identified, I would rectify the issue and test the system to ensure it is operating optimally. 14. Briefly share about your technical background. The interviewer wants to find out whether you have a technical background relevant to this job. Tip number one, check the job description and mention your qualifications that relate to this position. Tip number two, prove that you have relevant technical skills needed to perform effectively. Sample answer. Five years ago, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer engineering. I have also earned CompTIA and PC hardware certifications from one of the best institutes in the country. In my previous roles, I developed a couple of hardware solutions. Owing to my technical skills and experience in the industry, I will be a valuable asset to this company. 15. What is a microprocessor? The interviewer wants to test your familiarity with this term. Tip number one, define a microprocessor. Tip number two, be direct and provide a complete answer. Sample answer. A microprocessor is a central unit in a computer that manages and executes logical instructions. In other words, it is an electronic device that contains logic, arithmetic, and control circuitry required to perform various computer functions. A microprocessor and computer CPU are used interchangeably in the personal computer's domain. 16. Name the factors that affect the speed of the microprocessor. Hardware engineers develop processors. In this context, the interviewer wants to hear whether you are well versed with what impacts the speed of microprocessors. Tip number one. State several factors that affect how fast a microprocessor can be. Tip number two, prove your knowledge regarding microprocessors. Sample answer. There are several factors that influence the speed of microprocessors. These are the clock speed, bandwidth, the number of transistors within a processor as well as the instructions built in it. A variation in these factors will impact the speed of a microprocessor. 17. What would you do if a team member has made a huge mistake? This question seeks to test how you would react when your colleagues commit intense mistakes. Tip number one, state the steps you would take. Tip number two, show that you respect the chain of authority. Sample answer. First, I would try to help my colleague find a solution or rectify the error. If this doesn't work, I would seek assistance from my supervisor or boss. I know I am not responsible for disciplining members who commit mistakes over and over. Therefore, I would always report such cases to the relevant office. 18. State the difference between multiprocessing and multitasking. Here, interviewers want to test your understanding of these two concepts. Tip number one. Describe the meaning of each term. Tip number two, point out the difference in the process. Sample answer. Multiprocessing is the ability of a CPU to process multiple programs at the same time. Modern computers are fitted with multiple processors to enhance their multiprocessing capabilities. On the other hand, Multitasking is the ability of a multiprocessor to switch between multiple programs that are running at the same time. 19. What is heatsink and why is it necessary? The interviewer asks you about heatsink to test whether you know what it is and why it is used. Tip number one, explain what is meant by the heatsink. Tip number two, mention why it is important to use it. Sample answer. A heat sink refers to a component that is used to reduce the temperature of a system or its component. It is commonly used to lower temperature in microprocessors. If a heat sink is not fixed properly, a system usually shuts down automatically to prevent heat damage on the CPU. 20. What does a hardware engineer do on a daily basis? This question is meant to test your familiarity with the daily routine of a hardware engineer. 
Tip number one, state the duties performed by a hardware engineer. Tip number two, prove that you know your daily routine. Sample answer. The primary responsibilities of a hardware engineer are designing computer hardware, testing hardware to ensure it's working properly. Identifying defects, designing and testing circuits as well as other electronic components, and assessing safety, reliability, and cost factors. Other duties include supervising technicians, analyzing information and proposing suitable hardware to users, and designing prototypes.